So first of all, if you're a pro in the vaping industry, do not come at me. I do not know the name of the tricks, but I can do that old thing and then I can split the O's and I can like do the cloud thing where you suck up the cloud. Then my favorite trick is definitely the mouth to the nose one where it like comes straight from your mouth to your nose without you wasting any. If you can do tricks, like if you can do other tricks that I haven't mentioned and that are cool, comment down below. Hey there, spitting my love, spitting my awareness. How you doing today? Okay, so you're here because you want to know why vaping is fun. That's the title. And I'm going to be telling you exactly why it's fun, why people, or why we do it, and why we shouldn't be doing it at all. So, um, if you want to hear like my background story in terms of like vaping and everything, I'll definitely tell you guys. But like, I have a lot to talk about so i won't tell you but i'll definitely let you know that i used to vape if that's important i used to vape but i don't vape anymore unless i see someone vaping and i'm like hey can i just try you know because it's there it's just right there it's like it's coming and calling my name so why not but nah i'm telling you why you shouldn't be vaping so focus on that <laughs> So I'm going to start by telling you the reason why so many people are vaping today. So when it was marketed, you were told um, it's better than cigarettes and it's definitely a way to quit smoking. But if we're really honest, the people that vape, okay, like it, it was shown as if it does not have any negative effects, la 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 la. So personally, when I, I don't even like smoke cigarettes or anything but i was definitely one of those people like yo guys i just got a vape and you know like you trying to choose flavors like okay should i go with like the bubble gum you know because bubble gum gonna be coming out of my nose and my mouth so yeah like okay i don't smoke but i'm like let me vape so the marketing was definitely like it took a huge part in the things we're all facing today because they told us that it's very it's healthy if you were like addicted to like smoking cigarettes and it's a healthy alternative for you to quit smoking right then they also made so many cool partons they have some with like purple skulls on them they have like this cool thing going on and i already talked about the flavors like whoa so many flavors you can you can buy i don't know how many flavors i've tried but the flavors guys are just the thing but yes we are not here to talk about why Okay, we're here to like, you know, encourage each other to stop vaping. We're not here to encourage each other to continue. Oh, and also adding on to like the marketing. It's not like um, Joe had to like hire people like, hey, can you go and do this on your Instagram? Once you've got a vape, you definitely wanted to try so many tricks. You wanted to show your friends what you have going on so you posted it on your instagram you posted it on your status facebook whatever and now the person that's watching they're like oh my god i should get a vape and then it went on and on and on and on and on and on so that was more like a herd thing there's actually something it actually has like a name in terms of mental health i think it's like herd disorder or something along those lines but it's like an effect where like just because so many people were doing it you're like oh i want to do it too i know it sounds like peer pressure but it's kind of different so it definitely ended up looking like it is a very healthy alternative to smoking one and two even if you don't smoke nothing will happen to you that's exactly how they made it seem so moving on what they didn't tell us is that within the flavors, they would juice in some hella tons of nicotine, guys. So, like, vape flavors or vapes 
whatever i shouldn't like say vape flavors as if like someone is out there taking a flavor and like gagging it down their throat but anyway um vapes guys do contain a lot more nicotine than actual cigarettes would so that's one thing they didn't tell you meaning that well since nicotine is already an addictive um component i'll call it a component i want to call it a drug it feels not so scientific you know because i think nicotine is like a component i don't know if you think otherwise comment please <laughs> I think it's like a component of a drug, like a bigger drug, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, the effect of nicotine is that it gives addiction. It makes you want more, right? So now they didn't tell you that in these vape machines, they're going to be putting an extra addictive effect. I don't know. Like, why though? Like, why? Is that not supposed to be like the healthier alternative to cigarettes? But now you're like juicing in more nicotine, meaning not only do vapes look cool, seem cool, act cool, have tricks, but now they're more addictive than ever. They didn't tell you that when they were marketing the vapes. They just told you it is a better alternative to smoking cigarettes. But guys, those things got tons of nicotine. So the thing with nicotine is when you take nicotine, right, it affects like the reward center of your brain. So dopamine starts to be produced and dopamine is like the yay, we're happy type of hormone type of thing. So now like when you then take nicotine, you feel happier, better and self, you feel like you're self accomplished, you know, you feel like you are top of the world you feel like you are unbeatable you feel like you have gone to harvard university and graduated with a great distinction guys that is what the reward center is all about reward center of the brain so that's what nicotine does to our people up here don't get me wrong you're supposed to be feeling like a bomb person you know but just naturally not because of nicotine you're supposed to be feeling like you have graduated with a distinction at harvard every single day of your life even if you haven't gone to college even if you're going even if you just got born that is how we are supposed to be feeling every single day we're supposed to be feeling like the best of ourselves okay but not because of nicotine i hope you guys are understanding my point i know i have not actually started to tell you why vaping is very bad <sighs> these guys are making so much noise should i just like open the door and be like shut up i can't do that because <laughs> i'm actually shy i don't talk to them much what if they're watching this <laughs> okay you know what guys these are my housemates and they're kind of making noise but we'll continue okay the noise is out the noise is off i didn't tell them anything they just finished i couldn't i could not i could not you guys okay now let me actually tell you guys exactly why vaping is bad you should stop vaping please i'm like begging you to stop i'll i'll invent a vape that does not have nicotine apparently those are already there <laughs> but maybe instead of trying okay if you just like the whole smoke coming out of your mouth effect i'll definitely say google the ones without nicotine but i heard that they are not so good in terms of health either so i do not know how to help you guys but i'm just gonna tell you exactly why you should stop vaping so what happens with your brain when you're vaping is as long as your age or your birth certificate does not tell us that you're 25 
then it's definitely a bad idea to vape because your brain is actually still developing it's interesting how like the brain is takes quite a long time to grow you know it's really interesting so mental health becomes very important because if imagine like um i don't know it's more like we're nurturing it right so if it's still growing and then you taking vape it might end up being this formed in like the last stages of its development like i i need you to like see this like with your mind you know the same way a mother takes care of her eating when she's pregnant is the same way we should not be doing this stuff right now so the parts of the brain that actually get affected are the ones that are responsible for planning multitasking and a whole lot of other things that you actually need to be equipped with for you to be a successful business man or a successful business woman or a successful artist successful whatever so it's basically the part that's actually most responsible for our success than anything else like it's right in the brain and it takes the longest time to develop fully so don't mess that part up you guys you can watch so many motivational videos but as long as you're vaping you're messing up the part the part of your brain that's responsible for your success for your future and your memory as well it misses your memory yeah and the most messed up thing about vaping is that it has already caused so many um physical risks to our bodies as teenagers as adults whoever you are whatever age you are you will be exposing yourself to serious lung illnesses like serious ones you know like since vape is like a new thing it's not so new now but like maybe three years ago two years ago type of new that means if you do get sick from it imagine how long scientists will then have to take to know what you're exactly sick with they need to study what the vaping flavors contain they need to study the possibilities they need to rule out things and then they can be like oh hey we now have a cure for whatever your lung is facing so don't do it mm -mm. by the way when i say scientists guys i'm talking about me i kind of left my lab coat somewhere and like my scientific googly glasses but hey now imagine how long i'm gonna have to take to know what you're sick with so please don't vape you guys do not then also i don't want to put numbers in here because people like bashing people and they're like yeah that girl that youtuber you know putting labels i'm not a youtuber <laughs> i am a more than a youtuber honey i am a <clears throat> let me not start anyway so I don't want to put numbers to this, but vape is killing people. It is killing people. There are so many people that have already died. If you want to Google it up, you can if you think I'm lying to you, but people are dying. And if you're already addicted to vape, trust me, you are not alone. We were there, been there, done that, you know what I'm saying? So if you are currently face if you currently want to stop it but you're finding it hard to do, the first thing I would advise is try to sell your vape. If you don't want to throw it away, at least sell it to someone and get some cash back for it. And then also that's like a bad idea because you're like, okay, I'm quitting vaping, but I guess somebody else can face the risks. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, you might just get like some extra cash because there are definitely some people that are like grown up enough and the sides of the brain I was talking about, they might not get affected. I feel like I'm such a bad person when I'm trying to advise people to stop things because it's really confusing now. It's like I'm telling you not to do it, but then I'm kind of telling you it's okay to do it in a certain way, which is a bit different from the way you were doing it. Like, just don't do it, guys. Take this side of me i'm telling you not to do it i might have two sides
Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, um, if you're facing difficulties with vaping, you definitely need some therapy. It's okay to talk to someone about it. Most people use it as a way of self medicating maybe you're feeling stressed maybe you're feeling so anxious about something maybe exams are coming up maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself and you just need to let that steam out but anyway it's there are other healthier alternatives to um you know letting steam out so yeah um you could be feeling like vaping is like a way out of your stress or your work and everything but there are definitely a lot of alternatives like i said you could call people to like socialize play some games like play fortnite play PUBG, play mobile mobile damn mobile legends <laughs> like the name was just there but yeah play 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 you can invite me to like a PUBG item and I will beat your <laughs> so yeah definitely other alternatives than vaping this one is for the people that made it to the end of the video man I'm so grateful for you I'm thankful you made it to the end I'm thankful you took the time from your quarantine to just sit down and watch me do my thing and educate you i hope you liked my videos i hope you subscribed notification bell thing know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway okay i don't know what that was but follow my instagram i'll put it down there for you i made a game in case you didn't know in case you didn't watch my previous video you should hop onto it <laughs> thanks I'm grateful. I'm grateful so much. Comment. I will shout out at you. Bye.